All right, so new update to Final Fantasy VI Divergent Paths Deluxe Edition with my very special guest, author of this hack, Power Panda. Thanks again so much for being here to um, experience this with us as we check out these new additions for the first time. Now, um, I know that you mentioned that um, if you go in here with a different party, there's a force field that pushes you back. I just wanted to see that yeah. for myself first. Don't worry, I have a safe state for the correct party members that you need in your party. It's some sort of Esper barrier. I wonder how we can get through. Hmm, you should go talk to the scholars in the library. They could tell you. Oh, really? Well, in that case, we have a Moogle charm equipped. I was just going to load a save state, like, you know, where um, I have uh, the correct characters in my party. But now, I want to go get the clues. Yeah, so you have that scholar that when you start to get to the ancient castle, uh, he changes his line to say five steps from the throne. So you have to walk all the way out here, travel to the travel the rest of the way to the desert, go find the scholar, talk to him for the game to tell you where the switch is in the ancient castle. Okay, and that's bad see. game design. So I have the hint for the switch hidden within the castle itself. And this guy tells you how to get in. Oh wait, not here. It's this way. Yeah. Ancient texts I'm studying speak of a thousand-year-old city beneath the sand. It's said that it has a seal that can only be broken by a Templar and an Esper working together. All right. Well, good news, and that's an awesome hint that you have there. We can just load a save state that I have. Um, excuse me just a second. There it is. So now we have the correct characters in our party. A Templar and an Esper. Oh, and hey, Gao has something special going on, doesn't he? Yep. These are new. You uh, shadow added those into my inventory. Uh, when he when he got his fight ability, which I have not seen yet, so we'll be showing that off uh, whenever we fight a battle. First, let's see this new uh, event. I know of this place. It's an Esper attack. Let's show him some of our Esper magic. A thousand years in the past, a battle was waged here. Only Odin remains. Are your wounds healed? We're fresh out of options. We'll have to leave this battle in Odin's hands. A city ruined during the War of the Magi. See, dude, I'll talk about that when this scene's finished. Adam Edge. Hmm, interesting. Oh, hey. I like that. I recognize the new sprite. My cat's scratching my microphone. Adam Edge. Of course, he always looks away. Don't do it. All the cool guys look away after they strike. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they look away from the explosion. You can't turn me into Magicite. And he doesn't. Nice. There's an ancient legend. It tells of the first Templar who defeated Odin by neutralizing his magic. This became the runic technique, the only defense against the Esper's power. 
Terra, if we combine your aura with my runic, I think we can get through the barrier. And now the barrier is just gone? Uh, no, if you actually take these guys out of the castle yeah. and try to come back in with another party. Actually, go ahead and walk out. Okay. We'll see. Oh, I don't have any of these yet. Realm, Gogo, -Go, Strago, okay. Mm, you have had the Punisher on your team before. That is what Bannon comes equipped with. Ah, I see. Oh, wait, so it'll do the same thing every time, does it? Oh, they just do this. Cool. Yep, and that is to make sure that you absolutely cannot be in this castle without Leo and Terra together. Nice. And that is... I would have to read the book first. Oh, nope, found it. So, in the original game, you have this ancient castle that's just kind of stuck there. Ah, uh, yeah, you don't get Odin. You get a dull Magisite key item. Ah, Let's see. Odin turned into... Dull Magisite. Magisite that has lost its light. Um, in the original game, you have this whole scenario in this underground castle. And it's not tied to the story, and it's not tied to any characters. Uh, if you look up walkthroughs, it'll say, The character most knowledgeable about ancient things will narrate this to you. And that's a total lie. The character with the lowest index number will narrate this to you. Oh, so oh my if you, god. If you only have Umaro in your party, Umaro will wax eloquent about this thousand-year-old castle that's hidden underneath the sea. Huh. I should try um, one of these days. But, but character index, I mean, Terra's first, Locke is second, Cyan is third, Shadow is fourth, Edgar and Sabin. And then sell us. And once you get to that, once you get to the seventh or sixth or seventh, mm -hmm. um, then the only one who doesn't make sense to narrate that is Shadow. But very, so few people ever see that. Right. Uh, anyway, so you have this scenario that's just sitting there. And when you're adding something like a new character like Leo, you can't just add him. Oh, here, we'll let you watch this. Yeah, it's probably the same thing as vanilla, right? I realize now that I'm in love with Odin. This breaks every rule of our society. But my heart longs for this noble, elegant man. How could anyone blame me? After the fighting is over, I'm going to bear my soul to him. There's a note scribbled in the back. Five steps from my throne. So that's where you get your hint. Yeah. Um, did you notice something different there? Uh, yes. <laughs> it... <laughs> no. Okay. Terra... Terra should be jumping out of your party and saying, oh, love yeah. between a human and an esper, is it possible? Oh, but she's not because Leo's in the party. That is going to happen oh. after you tell. Go ahead. So I, I don't know how much you want to talk about the part that hasn't been built yet. But when you talk to the queen, Terra's going to say, love between a human and an esper. And Leo's going to say, yes, I've seen it before. He's going to talk about how he became a knight, a Templar knight. Oh, wow. And it has to do with a friend that he made uh, back when he was a cadet soldier uh, just guarding the jail. And do you want the spoilers for who that is? Wait, wait. Because um, that, no. <laughs> that, is, that is scene's that... not finished yet. Yeah, no, then, then I don't want it. So we okay. can keep that a secret for right now. Let, let me uh, think about it. Let me at least attempt this boss fight first. Fight! Nice. Okay, so while you're fighting this boss, let's talk a little bit about Anubian Dragon Sea Dude, what he discovered. Um, you note that I shadow dropped the Master Fists into your inventory, but I didn't equip them to Gao. Because every time I tried to equip to Gao, the game would crash and freeze. And so I settled with just shadow dropping those items into your inventory. Gotcha. Um, what Sea Dude figured out, and he figured it out after I put out the 8.81 patch, is that you can't optimize a character who's not in your party. Now, Gao, in that scene, because you're changing clothes, you have the Dana, you have the suede suit, and then you finally have the what Gao calls the funeral clothes. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, in order to change him back and make sure that he's got his normal sprites, make sure everything is on the up and up, the game briefly removes him from your party, changes a whole bunch of things on him, and then adds him back into your party. Hmm. I inserted my code hook into that scene. It happened just after he was mo- removed from your party, but he wasn't back in yet. So when I tried to optimize it, the game would crash. Ski to see, dude, for that, for figuring out that random piece of Final Fantasy VI code, and the next release is going to have him optimized as soon as that scene is done. Hmm. We're going to go back and uh, save, because I'm the last thing I'm going to do is, is talk to the Queen. I want to fight the Katana Soul first, at least try it. Although, I feel like I should fight at least one battle here, because I know that there's enemy types that I need mm, to encounter. There is... Katana Soul is what's going to give you the offering, right? Yes, at least. There's normally. another treasure chest that you haven't found yet that you are definitely going to want to show off on this stream. Okay, is that uh, something that was that's new? It is, I think it originally held Blizzard Orb for Umaro. Okay, yeah, hang on. L- let me go take another look then. I'm but yes, it's a new off. item. Okay. Wait, wait, the one I got for Leo? I got that. Yeah. It. Yeah. <laughs> Check it oh, out. Oh, okay. There. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> so that, that's what you're referring to, yes? Yep, shock bangle. Okay. So the shock command is equivalent to, like, fire three, ice three, bolt three. Uh-huh. It's not meant to be balanced in the game. Because you essentially cast yeah. bolt three for zero MP. Uh-huh. Um... It was meant for a single battle to make Leo look amazingly awesome and make you sad that he died. Yeah. Um, so when adding him back into the game, the general Leo hack just gives him shock because that's a signature ability. Yeah. But that's not balanced. Right. Not so I had to, I had to lock shock behind an item so that you wouldn't get it till the end of the game. Yeah. And that. That makes it uh, more acceptable to work the way it does. Uh, one special thing, there's a, another hacker out there called Grey Shadows who coded a special hack for me. Uh, if you go and unequip the sword from Leo, shock will no longer be available. Huh. The same thing would happen with same thing would happen with Runic. Now, Runic happened in the vanilla game, but shock didn't have any code behind it. Mm. So we were able to add that in. See, he's still learning that. Um, all right, sorry, we didn't get the new Magicite yet. We'll do that after we do Katana Soul. Uh, let me just see. Okay, you're fine with that. You're fine. You're fine. He needs something new. All right, give him that, I guess. Or maybe that's useful. Uh, let's see. Do I give him... Yeah, yeah see, dude, he had it check the Runic flag. So we didn't add another flag to the equipment. It just said, if you can't do Runic, you can't do Shock either. Alright, I'm just gonna save my game real quick and then fight Katana Soul and then however that goes, like I'm gonna try and steal from it, but normally it has like a rare steal that I like to grind for. I'm not gonna do that on stream, I'm just gonna give it one attempt. Then we'll go and ch- check and see what the um Let's just use a tent, screw it. Th- then we'll go check and see uh, what happens when we go to the statue after that. So a fun thing that is going to make it into the final game, not storyline. Uh, but all of these relics, the things that change steel into mug, change runic into shock. Uh-huh. Uh, you'll notice that I dropped Duncan on the airship. And he, all yeah. of the NPCs that are on the airship, he's the only one that doesn't do anything. He will actually take those relics from your inventory mm-hmm. and replace your command. Oh, so okay. basically, you give me the shock bangle, I will permanently change your command to shock. And then, when you want to change back to Runic, talk to me, I'll give you this relic back. Is the Murasami the one I want, or is it the Masamune, or... Do, do you know what's the the rare drop from this fight? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll have to look that up. But, uh... Let me just... Hang on. Oh yeah, Tornado, you've got that spell. That was known as W Wind in the original, and it was so terrible that no one ever wanted to use it. 
so I renamed it Tornado and made it actually useful. Nice. Okay. All right, I found the Final Fantasy VI. Bestiary? Bestiary? How do you pronounce that? <laughs> anyway, I found it, and I'm going to look for... Um... Hey, is Flare doing damage? Okay, good, it is. All right, I'm going to look for Katana Soul. Uh-oh, Flame Edge. Better cure. Or not, nah, but whatever. Play it safe. Uh, just scrolling through the thing, looking for the... Okay, I guess I better do a command. Oh, crap. I accidentally clicked out of the window. Ah! Uh, this fight seems like it's going on for a little while. Oh, wait, I think I found him. Or... I should probably pay attention to the game right now. Okay, now he's he's about to power up. Oh crap! Okay. Didn't realize that. Do I have to use life too? I don't have it. Crap. Okay, never mind. She can just cure two on him and then let's see. No, you know what? She's not. She's got a strong sword. She can use it. He can cure him. What? Oh, that's right, he does the thing. Crap, um... Do I have maybe an Esper I can use? Maybe this will do some damage. I don't think you can... Yeah, you can't use an Esper when you have X magic. Dispel, good suggestion. Uh, Dispel and... Flare! Play it safe. Alright, where the heck? Yeah, samurai Soul, okay. Oh, weird, it actually doesn't have one for him on the side I was checking. Ah, I gotta look that up. I don't know if it's Marasa made. Oh shit. <laughs> Alright, sorry, Locke. So, looking at your magic list, have you gotten Golem and Zone Seek yet? Yes. Probably. Added a couple new spells to those guys, which is why they're no longer available in the World of Balance. Okay. Because those spells make the floating continent just a little bit too easy. Gotcha. Um, hang on. Samurai Soul. Five, okay, th yeah, there it is. All right. So stats. I just see what are what are its uh, steals. Let's see. Da, da, da. Steel. Oh, oh, okay. So no, the the Murakumo is the rare steel that you want. So yeah, I will. Um, I will redo that later on, um, off stream, and I will just keep stealing until I get the uh, Murakumo. Uh, I did not get the rare steel, but. I will go ahead and just take a quick look at, um, oh, it comes back. A book with a gem encrusted cover, Queen's Diary, we already read it, but, D it d doesn't normally come back, right? Oh, wait, it comes back because I, di because I didn't talk to the, uh, um, the statue, right? Wait a minute, that comes back too? It shouldn't. <laughs> Interesting. Maybe because <laughs> I, maybe because I didn't um, talk to her yet. But yeah, he has a scimitar. So yay, unlimited scimitars. <laughs> do do do. You know I gotta do this, right? How many people can equip scimitars? How many do I need? One, two, three, four, five. I can fight Blue Dragon five times. I wonder if yeah. I'll need to take a look at that dragon. Yeah. I may have screwed something up there. Alright, so let's check out what happens here. Even the queen was turned to stone. A tear comes from the stone. The dull magicite begins to glow and becomes magicite Odin. 
Oh, between a human and an esper. Um, so is that finished now? That whole scene? No. Oh, the... no, not at all. Okay. It is. I took the code for the love between the human and an esper, uh, and I just dropped it from the end of the diary to the end of talking to the queen. That's going to be the lead-in for the scene that hasn't been written yet. Okay. Yeah, so if you want to go back to those espers, I'll point out a couple things. Oh, okay. So you saw that... You saw that Odin has both Odin and Raiden spells. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's got quick. Your zone and quick. And yeah, okay. And then head head up to Zone Seek and Golem. So Golem actually has two of the new spells, Safe Two and Shell Two. Yeah. Which will cast Safe and Shell on your entire party. Right. I think I, some people learn that. And then this one has Rasp, Rasp two. two. Yeah. And Rasp Two was the one that broke the game. Because oh. almost every enemy on the floating continent can suffer MP death. Um, Rasp hmm. 2 is a very strong MP attacking spell. It's meant for the Fanatics Tower. And putting it on the floating continent just didn't work. So I had to drop those esters into the World of Rune only. Gotcha. Oops. I just went into this fight because I wanted to... Uh... Well, I wasn't looking to fight this thing. I was looking to um, fight a random encounter just so I could use Odin, but I'm guessing it's just uh, vanilla. It's not going to work on this boss, right? <laughs> yeah, I didn't change anything there. Yeah. All right, cool. So, yeah, that's going to do it for this. Um, unless there was anything else to show off in this build, I think that'll probably do it, right? Yeah, thank you so much for having me and for playing a couple of my hacks. It's always fun to see other people enjoy them yeah i'm really glad to have you here um first time i've ever had uh, a, a guest uh hacker um on the stream so hopefully it won't be the last uh, certainly you know future updates we'll um you know we'll talk it over uh, maybe try and schedule an advance get together again um you know whenever that's gonna be i know that like you said it'll probably be a while before the next one like you might have some little things done between now and then but um yeah i mean i don't know like if i'm gonna like, like the thing with Bannon's Grave, I don't know if I would stream, like, just that part. I would probably play it on my own and then stream it again later. But, um... Yeah, you know what? Bannon's Grave, for those that are listening in, if you visit Bannon's Grave with the Paladin Shield, mm -hmm. so you uncurse the Cursed Shield, go to his grave, uh, that's how you get the Illumina in this game. That you can have both the Ragnarok and the Illumina by the end of the game. Yeah, and as you can see, I'm well prepared for whenever that takes place. So looking forward to seeing what that's going to look like. But probably won't dedicate a whole stream just to that. I'll probably wait till there's like at least one other thing to show off, like maybe more in the Ancient Castle or or the 16th character or something like that before I do uh, Bannon's Grave. But I'll probably do it like on my own just, you know, to check it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, um, yeah, thanks so much for, uh, for being here. And uh, thanks uh, to everyone in the chat for being here. Um, uh, the, the new faces, um, as well as uh, C Dude and Random Fellow, uh, C Mackey. Uh, thanks so much for being here, everybody. Um, so, yeah, that that was it for today. Oh, it's actually um, yeah, it's a good time uh, in the evening to actually end. I can actually get a full night's sleep. So, all right, that'll do it. Uh, thanks again, and uh, see you guys real soon. <laughs>